Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new Nick the Frog video. And in this video, this video was kind of requested by a fan asking for help. So today we are going to be making a little button teleporter. So yeah, first thing you want to do is if we go into the model tab here, you can see I have my stud set to 0 0.5. I'm actually going to set that to one stud. And rotation, we won't really care about rotation that much. So I'm going to insert a part here. I'm going to get the move tool out. And let's scale it. We're going to actually scale it to be one stud by one stud by one stud. Basically, it's all one stud. So it's basically just a cube. And then after having a cube, we can, like, color it, obviously. I, I'm really quickly just going to get a decal. Yeah, I'm just going to get a little button decal. Make it look a little bit more real. Look, and now you can see there's a little button on it. So now we're going to make it so... If you click it, basically, it's going to TP you. So what we're going to do is in the part in the Explorer here, we're going to tap it. We're going to insert a click detector. We're also going to insert a script. If we really quickly make the script bigger, there we go. I'm going to destroy print hello world, and I'm going, you guys are going to want to copy this script that is in the description. It is function on touched, local p equals a game not players called get child or get children, for, for i equals to one, comma, hashtag players do, move to vector three dot new. And this position, we're going to actually destroy this position here. I'm going to show you how you can TP to wherever you want, basically. So now that you've inserted that script, what you want to do is find maybe where you want to be teleported onto the map. Here, I'm just going to ins I'm just going to make like a little, let's say, say if I make a little house here, a little quick house. Not really a house, just a big wall, I guess. If I want to go to that wall, what you want to do is insert a part. You want to use the move tool to find where you want to be basically spawned to. So when you click it, you'll be spawned to this location. So I'm going to make it spawn me about right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the properties window here. And we're going to scroll down until you see, let's see, where is it? Position right here. You can see it's three numbers. That's why we use vector three. So we're going to copy that position. And after we do that, we can just destroy the part. There's no point for the part anymore. Then we go in the script and we can paste in these numbers. And that's it. All you need to do is change this mouse button one click. I'll do this in the description to click detector. I'll change this in the description just so you guys know. But for me, I have to change this. Click the toe, dot mouse, click, colon connect, colon connect, on touch. There we go. So I'll change that in the description for you guys, but I have to change that. So when we play the game, you can see if I click, if I spawn in. Okay, where's the button? I don't even know where the button is. The button. Here, let me actually exit out. Let me find the button. Okay, it's right here. Let me click play here. Now we should spawn right near the button. So you can see if I click it, TP's me there. The no editing magic, it TP'd me right here. I'll even go back to the button and click it again. Boom. You can see for some reason I can even click it from like over here. Like if I'm standing right here, I can click it. 
I just, wait, where is it? I can still kind of click it. It's kind of far away. You got you pretty close for it to click it, but basically what I usually like to do is go into click detector, set the max click distance to probably like 10. So people can't just be across the map clicking the button. Because that'd be pretty crazy. So yeah. So basically they have to be right next to the button to be able to click it, basically. As you can see, the button's pretty close to me, but I'm way more than 10 studs away from it, so I can't click it. But if I come really close to it, like 5 studs, you can see I can click it. He pees me. So, thank you all for watching. Oh, why am I spinning? Spinning. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching this little tutorial. It's just a quick tutorial. And if you want to see more on Roblox Studios, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.